My fiancé wants unlimited access to my electronics and more or else he's calling off the wedding, how can I regain trust? I, 28F, have been with my fiancé, 28M, for over six years now, and during the third year of our relationship, I cheated on him with a close family friend. I had started taking him for granted, and it became easy to cheat because I didn't value the relationship. He broke up with me, and we were split for months. During the times I was single, I realized he is a great boyfriend. I begged for him back, and he took me back, but I had to promise never to speak to the guy again. I'm happy to say I haven't cheated since then and haven't been tempted at all. I understand what a great partner I have. That being said, the guy I cheated with was a close family friend and recently I rekindled our friendship behind his back. Nothing romantic or anything. Have you ever met someone who is a terrible partner but a great friend? That's him, and I hated the fact that I let a stupid mishap ruin our friendship. My fiancé found out and was angry. I apologized, and we talked, and he needed space. He sent me a text of his demands to continue the relationship, and I copied and pasted it. After doing some thinking, I can't trust you. Whether it was platonic or not, this is the second time that I know of where you have violated my trust. The hardest part isn't this, but now I have to wonder how many times you have violated my trust or done something behind my back that I just don't know about. You claim this is it, but how can I believe you? I love you and want to work on this relationship, but it's going to require a lot from you. We are postponing our wedding indefinitely. When we first got back together, it took 10 months before I felt secure in the relationship again. I have no idea how long it will take to feel secure again. Eli will be blocked on everything, and you are to never speak to him again. This now includes family events. If you know he will be there, do not attend. If you didn't know and he attends, you are to ignore him. I have unrestricted access to phones, social media, emails, etc. I want to know every password for any device you have. No hanging out with male friends alone. You are to be home by one if you do go out with your homegirls. There will be more, but these are my demands and they aren't up for discussion. If you aren't willing to do it, then the relationship is over. Take your time to think about it. I called him, but he said he's not arguing with me about it and not to call him back until I decide what I want to do. I feel that this is extremely harsh considering the fact that I didn't cheat this time. Ever since we got back together, I never cheated on him. Up in the comments. I think I was wrong, but I feel that the punishment doesn't fit the crime. I made a horrible mistake years ago. Being friends with someone doesn't equal cheating, even though I was wrong for going behind his back. You don't think I'll follow his rules? Good thing I don't let people tell me what I can't do. I'm going to be laughing when we work through this, get married, and have kids. Update 1. We had a really great conversation, and he was vulnerable. He said it made him feel like I didn't value him. He was crying, and it really hurt me to see the pain I caused him. He told me, please, let's not go forward with this unless I can promise that I won't go behind his back again because he can't go through this pain again. I promised him that I will never hurt him again and will always be honest and upfront from now on. We talked about the rules, and he said they will be temporary and will be adjusted when we go to couples therapy. Now it's time to put in the work to repair the relationship. I know it will be a lot of work, but I'm prepared. Thank you to the ones who gave constructive feedback. Update 2. I'll posting 10 months later in a different sub. So next month I'll be married this fall. I've been with an amazing guy, and we've worked through a lot of issues together. I thought I loved him, and I think I still do, but I'm not in love with him. About three months ago, at my job, we got a new co-worker who is very handsome and extremely attractive. I mean, I've never been so physically attracted to someone in my life. We started to deepen our friendship, but romantic feelings emerged. I repressed mine, but to my surprise, he confessed his feelings to me as well. I told him we've got to think about our spouses, but our feelings continue to grow. He told me he stopped being affectionate with his wife because he feels like he is cheating on me when he does that. He only wants to be affectionate with me. I've started doing the same thing and haven't been intimate with my partner. The big thing is, a lot of people will be hurt when this comes out. He can't divorce his wife right away because of finances, but he will as soon as possible. I have to call off the wedding, but I really don't want to hurt my current fiancé. Up in the comments. I have cheated before, and I'm starting to realize it's because I didn't understand being in love. With the guy I'm seeing, we both aren't romantic with our current partners, and I don't want to be with anyone but him. I'm going to tell my fiancé, but we can't tell the other guy's wife yet until he gets his finances in order. This time is completely different. The first time I cheated was because I was selfish, this time it was because I fell in love with someone else. I didn't choose this, no one picks who they love. This whole experience has taught me how complex love is, and that I've never been in love before. I didn't want any of this to happen, and it breaks my heart that I'm going to have to call off the wedding, but he's a great guy, and I'm certain he will find someone else. I wish I loved him or didn't fall in love with someone else. Update 3. I took everyone's advice and decided to end things with my fiancé. 
This was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. I know you guys think I'm a terrible person, but this is an unimaginable situation to find yourself in. I want everyone to know how much this hurts to do. I really wish I hadn't fallen in love with someone else. I wish I could make myself fall in love with my fiancé, but I can't. It took me so long to accept this. I hope you guys can understand that I can't convey this enough, I care about my ex-fiancé. I know this will be best for both of us, even though it's hard right now. Up in the comments. I didn't lie. I told him the truth, that I fell in love with someone else. I told him I still care about him. I keep telling you all that I care about him and would never use him as a backup. He's a great guy, and there's a woman out there who will love him and be lucky to have him. There's no reason we both can't be happy.